Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this demo I'm going to show you demonstration of a stadium booking project and uh, Spring Boot. So according to the technology I'm using, we are using here Spring Boot and JPA and for the front end it's using JSP, JSP, CML, Bootstrap, Bootstrap, JSTL and uh, you can say CSS also is there and uh, to manage the backend it's using MySQL database and we are going to store that information into the MySQL database and which is available here and that's a table user table booking payment in stadium and if I talk about the user rules so there are two types of users admin and the other user is going to from booking make a booking or uh, you can say the uh, book the seats or you can say the customer Okay, so uh, this uh, user rule will define the user type in this table. So if you want to view the database of this table, right click on it, go to the select first option. Uh, you will see the complete data over there. Okay, now uh, this is the demonstration. So in case you have already the source code and you have already bought the source code and you want to the source code from code one, you can take this and we have remote team. So they will set up the complete quality of machine and after this you will get uh, source code and the project setup in this condition after that you need to follow this demo in order to execute the application mm -hmm. so to in order to run this this is your runner class here right click on it go to run as run it as a java application on your request port and it will start a docket server on a specific port number and once just wait for a while and once you will see this message over here like Tomcat is started on this port number. After that, just go to the resource folder and open this application or property file. You will get this link here, the uh, URL. Just copy it, open it on your browser, and then you will be able to launch the application and now see what we can do on this application. So we have uh, two options. First is a home page, sign up and login. So if you want to sign up as a new user, you can sign up over there. When you sign up, you can select the new user role. It can be an admin or a user. And while logging, you can select this option. So I'm going to log in as an admin first and see what admin can do. Then we'll move to the uh, new customer or the user and check the functionality of that user. So I just enter the credential over here and I just hit the login button and now we have a admin uh, logged in already. So we have a user section. So under the user module, what admin can do? Admin can add a new user plus a user number to I'm going to fill in up our demo demo data over here. And I just select a role. Let's suppose I want to add a user with this name, Pascal. I just added registered successfully and if I view or or I can check it here as well when I list user list when I click the user list the new data will be displayed over here if I want I can edit the record and I just enter some extra e in the record and just give it a date and in the list section you will see it's updated if I want to delete any record I can click the delete button and delete a multiple record so it's deleted also, if I want to search any result by its username, I can search it from here. When I hit the result, it will be displayed in the data. So, under the stadium module, we can add a new stadium. So, to add a new stadium, we need to fill up as an admin, we need to fill up some details like the stadium name. So, let's suppose I'm going to add a new stadium name, let's say ABC, and the seat number of seats, let's say I'm going to give it a 60,000 seats. And ticket price for each, let's say I'm going to use 600 for one ticket. And I added the stadium, and the stadium will be displayed here into this list. And the price, and we have three options as an admin. I can edit the stadium. Let's suppose I'm going to edit and keep the price at 700. So I just updated it. It will be updated now. I can delete the stadium. I can book a stadium. So we'll see the booking option while we register or login as a user. So, <clears throat> under the booking history, admin can check all the bookings that is done by the customers, and also admin wants if admin wants admin cancel uh, admin can cancel it from here. Also, currently in the stadium list, the seats are displaying like this. When user make a booking of any seats, it will be automatically reduced from the total uh, total number of seats. Uh, payment will be displayed here that is done by the user, so you user can check the payment history over here. My profile and logout. 
So user can check this profile and all. Now let's register as a new user or we have just added a new user by the admin. So by logging that's a user and make one okay. So I am going to just log in now as an um, user or customer and uh, this is a password. I just enter the login ID and password. Save it so I can check the list of stadiums over there that is available in the database. So this is a new uh, stadium that we have just added. Click on the book and here automatically it will fetch my details like my stadium that is I'm going to want to book. Uh, first name, last name, my contact number and the number of tickets. So let's book what ticket I want to book. So I want to book a five ticket. So I just pay in book. So automatically it will calculate the price so it's showing the total price here i need to enter the card number and max expiry dates okay. so payment done in the booking history will display like this if i want i can cancel it i this is the payment detail it's done by me now if i check the payment uh, stadium list the number of seats automatically reduced because we have booked it again we have a my profile and the box section that's all about the stadium booking project in a spring boot and have an NJPA. if you need the source code please connect us over the whatsapp gmail or skype and uh, what we will do we will we'll share the complete source code, code database and we'll do the setup at your machine and after configuration will make sure it will working same as source in the demo so for pricing and all the services that we are providing you can connect us over the keyword contact details thank you